Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? What do they wish they could tell Leo at this time? All right, for Leo's spirit, what do we need to know about Leo's connection with the person they are thinking about? So I'm gonna start with your energy, Leo, just to see how you think or feel about this person. Leo, think or feel about this person. What about Leo's energies in this connection at this time? Oh, we got the beaver. Interesting. Beaver is very hardworking, um, family oriented, dedicated, loyal. I love that energy. So tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies in this connection towards Leo? What is Leo's person thinking or feeling about Leo or this connection spirit? What can you tell us about Leo's person at this time? Dragonfly, interesting. Dragonfly, distraction. Hmm. So let me look that up in the book. Dragonfly. Master of light, illusion, and the mind. Awakens a sense of wonder. It's a symbol of the mind. It is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. Interesting. This person, um, I feel like their mind hasn't been made up about you, Leo. It could also be that your person, um, there might be some something about them that's kind of an illusion, maybe something you can't really see clearly. Um, or maybe they just are someone that's not sure what they truly want or what their intentions are. Um, let me look at the beaver because I just love that energy so much. Every time I see the beaver, I always get so like happy. Hard worker, loyal, tireless, family first. Aww. Good natured, dependable, infinite love and enthusiasm for family. So this I feel like is um, either how you see this person or how you what you're looking for. Or this could be you. Once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. The task at hand requires your long-term steady effort. Interesting. So I feel like you're willing to put in the effort. I feel like you're someone that is loyal or that's what you're looking for. Or that's what you feel this person is. And if you feel like this person is a beaver energy, then um, maybe there's something that you don't quite know or an illusion here. And that's why when I put this card down, I thought distraction. Maybe they're distracting you with something or you're distracted and cannot really see something very clearly. We'll see. Let's get into the tarot. That was the um, Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle deck. All of the decks that I'm using are listed down below for Leo's spirit. What does Leo need to know? about this person that they are in a connection with. What do we need to know for Leo? What do we need to know? This is the Light Sears Tarot. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate your support. All of your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot, so thank you. All right, for Leo, tell me about Leo's spirit, Leo's um, energies in this connection. What can you tell me about how Leo is thinking or feeling? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles reversed. They tend to be a little off balance. They are not very good with finances or are experiencing financial difficulty. Sometimes they're dependent on someone else. Um, sometimes they're selfish, but sometimes it's necessary to be selfish. So we'll see what that is when I clarify. You could also be dealing with someone like this in your life or your person um, could be exhibiting these traits. 
Um, also, just because you're on this side, Leo, and your person is on this other side does not mean that you can't flip them. So flip them if they resonate more because energy can be flipped. Okay, tell me more about Leo's energies, please. What are Leo's energies at this time towards this connection? Five of Swords reversed. Something has happened. Either you want to overcome conflict or or some sort of um, bad communication that took place. Maybe you want to um, reconcile or overcome a difficult situation. Maybe there has been some sort of loss or defeat and you want to fix it. What else for Leo? Maybe there was some sort of argument or some sort of deception that you dealt with. Someone could have been uh, taking advantage of a situation or you or been deceptive towards you. Which I feel like with your other readings, that has been kind of a theme. Tell me more for Leo, please. What are Leo's energies at this time towards this person? I don't want to take a card yet. King, wow, what in the world? King of Swords reversed. So either you're dealing with a very difficult person or communication hasn't been very good with this person. Someone could have been deceiving you, Leo. Which makes me sad because if you are a beaver energy, that's like the last thing that you deserve. Now, this is not going to resonate for everyone. So if you're sitting there saying, well, that's not me or that's not what I'm going through. This obviously isn't your reading. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading. It's, you know, it's just not the message for you today, but maybe next week's will be. But wh whoever, whatever Leo I'm reading for here, you are either undergoing a very difficult situation or have had something difficult happen to you in this connection. Because King of Swords reverse, not a very good person to be dealing with. Also, they're not very good communicators. So let's look at your person. Tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies at this time? Tell me more, Spirit, about Leo's person, the person they're in a connection with at this time. Oh, okay. Ten of Swords. Difficult endings. Rock bottom. Maybe your person initiated uh, an ending there or there has been some sort of separation between you. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be you here. There might have been an ending between you and this person, um, but your person is attracted or motivated. They want something. What else can you tell me about Leo's person? The Sun reversed. Lack of clarity, delayed happiness. I feel like this is that dragonfly card. Something's not as it seems with the sun reversed. So let's see, what are the mutual energies between Leo and this person? What are the mutual energies between Leo and this person? Mutual energy spirit. What can you tell me? Nine of Wands reversed. Someone here could be ready to give up on this connection or is open to... to um, maybe they're not as defensive as they once were. I'll have to clarify that to see because that can mean a few things when it's reversed. It can mean that someone is ready for their... You know, their guard is not up as much as it was before. They're no longer paranoid or defensive. Um, it could also be that they are overly exhausted um, to the point where their health is affected. Or it could also mean that someone's ready to give up, no longer willing to fight and kind of like hang in there. What else can you tell me about this connection? The mutual energies for Leo. Yeah, the Empress Reverse, something here hasn't been growing um, or manifesting. 
maybe it's a bad investment or someone feels it was a bad investment or they invested in the wrong place and so nothing has grown. Um, the Empress Reverse could also uh, symbolize someone who is a, a jilted lover, a partner that has been left behind. So let's see, let's clarify. Spirit, help me clarify these energies. There we go. Let me clarify these energies for Leo. I need to see for Leo. Tell me about this Nine of Wands reverse. Let's start there. Why is the Nine of Wands reverse? Queen of Swords. Clarity boundaries. Queen of Swords has very healthy boundaries. She does not, um, she protects herself because she's been through a lot. And so she doesn't just let anybody in. She's very direct, sees right through the BS. Can I get one more for this Nine of Wands reverse? Can I get one more. Three of Wands reverse. No longer waiting. I feel like someone here is ready to give up because they've been waiting for something to happen that hasn't happened. Maybe they're seeing an illusion clearly here. Maybe they are no longer willing to pull the weight here. Tell me about the Empress reverse. Tell me about the Empress reverse, please. Why is the Empress reversed here? Two of Wands reversed. Maybe it wasn't the right path or there could have been, um, I know I don't have any cards here about a third party, but the Two of Wands reverse could mean infidelity. Someone that stepped outside of a connection because they had a wandering eye. Um, it could be that someone chose the wrong path and it led to an Empress reverse, which is something that's not growing or manifesting. Judgment reversed at the bottom. It could be that someone here made a bad judgment call, made a mistake. So why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here for you, Leo? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Four of Wands reversed. Interesting, some of you could be um, in a long-term commitment with someone that, and you broke it off, um, or there's a, an unhappy commitment here. Lack of balance, lack of harmony, uh, family issues, uh, conflict, could even be a separation. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse here for Leo? Two of Swords, being undecided, unsure of what to do, what choice to make, not seeing very clearly, again, with not seeing clearly. And then Seven of Pentacles, reverse at the bottom, another card about bad investments. Wasted time, wasted effort. Something not growing, not harvesting. Tell me more about this Five of Swords reverse. I feel like you want to do something, Leo, but you don't know what to do about this situation. Oh my gosh, hold on, this is sloppy. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. What else can you tell me about the Five of Swords reverse? Six of Wands reverse. So there hasn't been success. There hasn't, you haven't been recognized for your hard work or effort. Um, and so you, now you know you have to do something about it. I feel like whatever was not successful, I think part of you wants to fix it, to improve it. Um, but it's just not coming together for you. I have Sagittarius at the bottom here with Temperance reversed. So now you have to do something about this situation. And it could be a situation that was um, something that you were involved in or something that's happening to you. Um, but I feel like with the Five of Swords reversed, I think this is something that you want to fix or improve. But at the same time, you're wondering if it's even worth it to try to improve something, to try to, uh, like, should you just give up? That's kind of the energy I'm picking up there. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. 
Why is the King of Swords reverse? Three of Pentacles. Could be a third party situation here with the Three of Pentacles. Can we get one more for this King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse? These are very like conflicting energies here. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Seven of Pentacles reversed again. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is like almost like this King of Swords is over the fact that something, even though they've put in a lot of effort and work into something, it hasn't grown or uh, it's been a waste of time, right? And I feel like they're upset about that. Completely closed off emotionally, um, maybe even feeling like they want revenge or, or, or they're just very unhappy and off balance. It's like you were waiting for something to be better than it was or um maybe um you're just recognizing that all of this hard work was for nothing or feels like it was for nothing tell me about the queen of wands why is this queen of wands here i feel like your person wants something temperance reversed again Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. The Moon Reverse. Hermit Reverse. Wow, Pisces and Sagittarius energy here. Now with the Moon Reverse, this is something that's coming to light. An illusion being seen for what it was. I feel like the illusion is that, you know, you thought something was going to come together in harmony and work out and, and maybe it was divinely guided, but maybe that was an illusion. Maybe there's a secret that's going to come out. Um, and I think this Queen of Wands is actually not something that your person wants. I think this is something that either you're going to find out or your person is going to or has to do with you. Like the illusion has to involves you in some way. Maybe someone made promises they couldn't keep to you or someone promised you that they were going to be committed to you or have something work out. But in, instead you got this moon reverse, a secret that came to light, something that came up to the surface. An illusion has been shattered. And with the hermit, um, was the hermit reversed? I don't know if the hermit was reversed. Now I'm like doubting it. But if it was upright or reversed, this has something to do with like, it's almost like, let's say it was in limbo because I'm not sure if it was reversed or not. Um, but I feel like you had suspicions and maybe you ignored your intuition or maybe your intuition helped you figure this out. Tell me about the sun reverse. Why is the sun reverse? Maybe this already happened in the past and it caused a separation with the Ten of Swords. Why is the sun reverse? Four of Pentacles. Holding on, holding back. Someone's holding back something. Tell me about this sun. Two of Pentacles reversed. Can I get one more for the sun reverse? Someone's holding back, and, and it's almost like they, a decision has been made for them. Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, so there's some sort of burden here that's been dropped, or that someone can no longer carry this. Someone can no longer keep this up. This holding back, um, or holding on to a burden, I feel like it's caused someone to drop one of these pentacles. Like, they can't keep this up. This is somebody right here that has been juggling a lot of responsibilities, and they one of these is going to just drop because one person can't do it all alone someone's health could be affected as well this could be emotional burdens but something here is dropping and i feel like someone can needs to to open up something's got to give something has to come to light that someone's been holding back an illusion will be seen for what it is 
Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Ace of Pentacles reverse. So there was some sort of broken commitment here. Either an offer was withdrawn or a commitment was broken or there has been very like a financial difficulty that has come with this separation or a breakup. So very interesting. I feel like um, maybe your person made promises they couldn't keep. Maybe they deceived you in some way. Maybe they, uh, they, they had a wandering eye, couldn't decide what they truly wanted and it cost them. Ace of Pentacles reverses a loss. I think when it came to you, even if there was a lot of attraction and chemistry, and even if they were motivated to be with you, I feel like something here wasn't able to come together because someone was found out in a way. 